Hey, what's up guys? It's Take Summer talking to you here. Welcome to my day in the life of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Currently, it's 11 a.m. and I've woken up early, done some work, had my breakfast, and now I will be leaving for the gym because I have class later on in the afternoon. So yeah, in today's video, I will take you out and show you my day, all the things that I do with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is more of a battery life tester than anything. Currently, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has 99% of battery, so yeah, I will check in later to see how it goes. But of course, if you enjoy it, do not forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to my channel. This is my first time doing it, so go check out my social networks and give them a follow. Especially Twitter, especially Instagram. But no further ado, let's start the day. So yeah, let's head home. It's about a 1.7, 1.8 kilometer walk. This is my day to day life i just walk all day because i don't want to use my car it's a lot of traffic on the city it's completely not worth it so i just go into the gym walk and then when i will go to university later on in the day i will also walk but i like to walk i like to do this this is my cardio exercise for your heart kids always walk always do your cardio because that will be very very healthy for you During these walks, I like to listen to music, and so I'm using my AirPods Pro connected via Bluetooth to my iPhone, and so it will waste a little bit of battery. But again, that's day to day life with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the same with the iPhone 14 Pro Max and 13 Pro Max, it will always be the same. For me, I like to listen to music while I walk, do my cardio, so yeah, it's normal for me. So we are now close to the gym, let's work out, I think it's the best time of the day to do so. So once we get there, I will talk to you. So we just got to the gym and yeah, time to lift some weights, I will record my workout for you. But of course, let me know in the comments down below, do you like to work out or not? Let's get started. Oh, before we do that, I just want to check with you how much did I walk, as you can see, one kilometer, 767 meters. So I think it's a pretty good cardio to start the day. As for the workout, it's pretty simple. Today was chest day and arms day, so I started with a little bit of incline bench press. It's about three sets. I do a top set and a back off, and the first set is a bit of a warm up set. So yeah, here I had two 30 kilo dumbbells and I did about eight, nine reps. This will be a little bit sped up. This is not the speed that I do my reps. The first rep, it's the normal speed, and then the others are a bit sped up, so you don't actually be here two minutes, three minutes be bored by me working out. Then I moved up to some bench press machine. Here I did it because it's much safer to go to failure than the normal bench press with a bar. Of course, I did three sets again, warm up set. This is the top set with 40 kilos on each side. And then I did a back off set that you will see next. On the next bike off set, I did 35 and then a drop set to 25. So yeah, three sets, again, warm up set, top set, and then the back of set. After finishing up the presses, I went back to the fly machine. Here, it's the incline machine. It's really good to work up your upper chest 
I like to do it until failure. It's really, really easy to go to failure because the machine again, it's really comfortable and it's really safe. So I did again three sets here, warm up, top set and back off. This is the way that I like to work out. It enables to go to very high intensity, really close to failure and not being tired. Then I moved up to the normal back tech machine. Again, some more flies until failure. I like to work to failure, that's the way you grow. And my chest workout was done. So I moved on to triceps. Here I did the rope push down. Rope push down is one of my favorite exercises. I like to go really heavy for less reps and then do some drop sets along the way. So again, here I do four sets, not three this time. On arms, I like to do a little bit more volume, so three sets on that exercise. And then I moved on to the bar push down instead of a rope, and I did four more sets. Of course, after doing this, a little bit more reps, I moved on to biceps to finish up my workout. You do not need more than th two exercises per muscle on your arm. I think more volume than that becomes too much. So then, obviously, we moved on to biceps. For the bicep workout, I'm a really average Joe. I start with curls, but with a slight twist. I like to do really, really slow curls. I go to the top, squeeze, 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 then hold, and then let them down really slow. That's the best way to do curls in my opinion. You will feel the burn on your biceps. Trust me, you don't need a lot of weight, just need a lot of mind muscle connection. And then I moved on to the incline dumbbell curl. This is a really good exercise, it gives you a lot of range of motion. At first it's weird, but then you will love it. You just have to twist it a little bit off the top and you will get that extra squeeze that I like to have. Of course, this is my last exercise of the day, so Four more sets like the other curls and go home, I'm done, completely fired up. I'm now on my way home, of course this is log footage on the iPhone, as you can see the quality is much better, no problems with processing, with natural exposure, with automatic, white balance, any of those problems is solved. This is the best quality that the iPhone 15 Pro Max will ever get, 4K, 30 frames per second, log. The file sizes here are huge, but with the new USB-C port, you can pass this footage through really, really fast to your computer. So right now I'm going home, eat lunch, take a bath, and then I will update, update you on the status of the iPhone 15 Pro Max's battery. It's, I think, currently around 70%, but I'm not for sure. Once I get home and do all of those things and go to class, I will update you on the battery life of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Obviously, again, I have to walk home. It's another 1.8 kilometers. So if you add up all the things, by now I'm already at 3.6. So yeah, I'm walking a lot, but we got home and it's time to eat, take a bath, and of course, go to class. So, see you in a bit. So we just got a package delivered, so it will be a live unboxing on this day in the live video. So, yeah, I'm quite excited. I'm not sure, I think it's some sort of package from Amazon. Let me see what it is. Yeah, it's a Samsung T7 Shield to edit my videos. Yeah, pretty cool thing, 80 bucks, one terabyte of SSD, one gigabyte speeds. Yeah, I think a pre pretty cool one. If you wanna see some type of review or my accessories for my MacBook, let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, bath taken, food eaten, time to go to class. But like I promised you, I wanna update you on the battery status of my iPhone. Currently, my iPhone has 58% of battery life. Let me see if I can focus this yeah, 58%. So yeah, this is using the always on display. This is using the video camera, the photo camera, taking tons of photos, videos, recorded my whole workout on the gym with this phone. I've studied, I've worked a bit for my channel, did some brand work, and now going to class. I have two classes now until 6 p.m. It's about 2 p.m. now to, to 10 p.m. I will have to leave 20 minutes of walking again to my university to have class. So yeah, about four hours of classes. And then of course, I will come back home, record the video, edit the video and launch it for you guys. 
and my day is done. I will have dinner, rest, watch some show on Netflix or something, and then go to sleep. So let's go to class. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to tell you. First, I will need to pack my things. I will take my portable SSD, my MacBook and my iPad. All of that, we'll put it on my backpack. So pick up the iPad, put it on my backpack, the Mac, back and then try to open this T7 shield really bring the cable this is Yo guys, I'm walking again, <laughs> what I thought, but yeah, going to university now, so see you in a bit. So yeah, I just got to university now, I studied engineering, the same course actually as Tim Cook, so I'm super excited, I'm on my second year, and yeah, I'm now on my university, I'm ready to go to class, I have a two block class now, so it will be around four hours of classes, I will talk to you when I'm finished. School time is over, now it's time to go home and, of course, eat something and work on the videos for the channel. Video is out tomorrow, so I will have to edit and record a new video today. So, yeah, I think the iPhone 15 Pro Max currently is with 30 something percent, I'm not sure. I will put it on the screen right now. Let's get home and start working. Finally, the last stretch of walking of the day. Oh my god, this is the, my everyday routine. I have to walk a lot, like I told you. But now, this is almost during the night. It's pretty safe city, I gotta say, so I have no problems. Again, as you can see, the video quality of the iPhone is getting a little bit blurry, especially the ultra-wide lens during the night. But if you go to your main lens on this night video, you can see it's a really good one. But you can still see the issues with the camera reflecting the lights, especially here, this weird light flare on the camera. The ultra-wide is not as noticeable, but then the quality is much, much worse. So, let's get to home, almost there, and then I will talk to you. Yep, the day is done. I've just finished editing, just finished studying, just finished doing some brand work. As you saw, a lot of things. It's almost midnight on my iPhone, I think you can see it. Oh my God, it's really, it's like midnight, 30 minutes past midnight. It's really late, I have to go to bed, I woke up early. As you can see, my day is filled with work. I don't do much more than work, studying, gym, work, studying, gym. and. Yeah, the iPhone just died like a few minutes ago. I put it to the charge. It's, I had, I think, 6%. Let me see if I can increase the brightness. It has about 6% 6 battery life. Yeah, I just put it to the charge. 
it just died yet, but yeah, it lasts me throughout all day. I don't need more than this, like eight hours of use, more than that. I, I actually used it a lot today for filming videos, filmed tons of footage, all the footage that you saw outside was shot on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, several clips, and it's normal. I, f I filmed also a 10 minute 4K video, the, the video that you saw me working on the brands, the video that you saw me studying, all of that, and of course the editing part was filmed on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And yeah, it actually drained the battery that much. When you use the camera, it actually does. But this is being shot on the Sony XT700 again, I'm very tired, sorry for that. But yeah, time to go to bed. No Netflix today. I just will chill because kind of tired. And of course, tomorrow this video goes out. So no further ado. Don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. See you tomorrow.